this is Nuka World. This is the place that everyone's been talking about. Holy shit. This place is a fucking dump. Were you sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping, okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No, no, I'll, um, I'll get back to work. That's better. What's around her neck? Hold on, hold on, let Please me... Don't hurt me. Hi. Oh, uh, hey, boss. Didn't see you there. Boss? Oh, yeah, because I actually killed off the original raider. Wow. Why you look like sure, a tin man? Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's what? not fun unless you're up close and personal. Mm -mm. I don't like this. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. Waste of time now. No one's topping your performance. Bitch, you act like that's a flex. Like, I was trying to... to fucking live. Okay, so I walked into Raider Heaven. One of the traders stealing food. Yeah? What did you do to him? Turned him loose outside the gate. Are you serious? Yeah. Then I got in a little extra target practice. Okay, this is... This no is... Slave, but don't want to be. What? Oh, heck. What? Oh my god, this is Psycho City, bro. I need to get the fuck out of here. Who is the synth that I need to get rid of? Some scaver makes it to the gun, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow her? How does that work? She ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know more about what's going on? Then maybe you should ask Mason. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? Wow, look at them talking shit about me. Fuck you too. Yeah, that's... Mm -mm. All right, let me go find Gage, that honestly. Too fast. I'm losing my touch. And that's a flex? What Man, the? I'm getting the shakes bad. Haven't slept in days. Oh my god, the drugs. Get some of that new Colmex stuff that Maddox Okay, okay, where's Gage? Supposedly I need to meet him somewhere. That's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Um, how is this place amazing? How? Yeah. Just look around. Don't you see it? No. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola museum? Nope. Never heard of it. Well, it's a long way from here. So I guess that's not surprising. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Come on, okay. come on! To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. Okay. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. 
like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. Yeah, that these that looks pretty just dope. Ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Who? Who is John Caleb Bradburton? Sorry. I tend to forget most people aren't as interested in the history of Nuka-Cola as I am. He was an inventor, and the best thing he ever invented was, you guessed it, Nuka-Cola. So, to win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. <gasps> that formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Bro, so this recipe is way more safeguarded than KFC, Cola Cola, and Pepsi combined? What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who embedded all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Eh, sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! <laughs> Wow, she actually gave me her glasses. Wow, she's actually not a slave to the raiders. They actually let her walk around like that? Holy shit. Damn, she... Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Okay. What would be the the uh option? I mean, you know what? Maybe since this place is, you know, at night. I can't really see the appeal of it, but I believe this is my place to go, right? Is it not? First of all, where am I going? Okay, so thankfully my mission to eliminate the Courser is still on, surprisingly, so... I'm pretty surprised that this courser has managed to not only survive the gauntlet, but to basically hide deep into this place. Wow, there's so many dead bodies. Okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to speak to Gage because they're not here, Curry. Trust me, they're definitely not here. I'm going to speak to Gage and then let me go and find the courser after that. I don't want to go inside too deep in this place too soon, especially since I am unfamiliar with the territory. Oh, it's coming. Don't get me wrong, if this place was back in shape like how it was before, I know for a fact. I know for a fact it would be popping, but at this point, this is just a a very horrific lazy town. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes but this view is something huh 
Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. Really? I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. Oh yeah, I did. That's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. Okay. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Why not? Being outright ain't my style. Oh. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. Oh. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. Oh, but come you, on. It ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Okay. Nuka talk to World. me. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. What kind of a mess am I walking into here? Yeah, how bad is this? First, heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down... It's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. Coulter couldn't pull this off? He was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, we got a second shot. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you. Okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. No you case. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. Okay. The bloodier, the better. No. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators oh, are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps. They'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Show me your teeth. Okay, so the disciples are basically saw fans. The operators are like the IRS, love money. And the pack, well, I don't know, animals. They'll probably be a good Kesha fan at that point. Uh, boss. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Damn. Well, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. And then, but the world! One step at a time. You in? Gage, do I have a choice in this? Okay. Let's do this. Alright. 
That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. I mean, what can I do at this point to screw up? I basically killed their leader, so... Alright, so I gotta meet each of them. Gotta meet the disciples, the operators, and then the pack. So... Um, I see that there's someone near me already, so let me head over here. Let me see what this is. Oh no. Oh my god, it's the disciples. Oh my god, I could smell the iron in the air, bro. Oh my god. Um, what's good? Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. Okay, disciple waster. Fuck me. Come on, girl. You know we should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. Oh! So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way, don't much care. I'm yeah, right here. I as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. Oh my god, this is crazy. So much blood on the floor. This is like Dante's Inferno. Okay, so you must be... Uh... Nisha. <gasps> oh, okay. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Wow. And what are you? His grandma? <laughs> <laughs> if I was... I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Oh, shit. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Yeah, I could. I, I could tell. My way, it would have been a slow, painful process. My bad. That's... Ugh. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. Just don't slack off when it comes to actually doing your job. We got Coulter Nuka Town, and suddenly he forgot the big picture. We both know how that turned out. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. Wow, no wonder. Hey, I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's wow. just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. Never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> Are you questioning me? Your overboss? Not questioning. Just curious. Okay, we were well. Wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. Well, I'm gonna make sure I satisfy your curiosity. I'm gonna do things my way, whether you approve or not. Oh yeah. I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. Yeah. You see, the disciples don't make empty. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Damn. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. And why would I trust you? Because we need each other. You give us what we want, and it's just a matter of time before everyone in the Commonwealth knows your name. Hmm. And what is it you want? When you finish what Coulter started, you give us control of this park. Then you set your sights on the Commonwealth. And once the Commonwealth is yours, and believe me, with our help, it will be. You just make sure the Disciples have more than our fair share of 
of the territories. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe I had- I can't believe I puffed out my chest like that. If you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Herbologist crazy? Okay, anyways, I didn't know that there's subgroups among other groups. The Lisa Disciples? really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. The Disciples are hardcore cycles, bro. Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Yeah, I I know you guys. Good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. These disciples are fucking Damn, psychopaths. I don't know how I feel about that. They're like pretty hardcore, all bloodied up and shit. All right, who's this? Ah, the operators. In, over, boss. Okay, thank you, operator waster. Huh. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Oh shit! Or they're talking about me. Hmm. You can go. They got some, some info on me already. I mean, bitch, if you wanna know what I'm about, all you gotta do is come up to me and ask. Like, I ain't gonna hurt you for asking. Hey there. Well. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? I have a good feeling you really hated it. Bored. I kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. What is a it? A temple. Mm -hmm. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Caps? Uh... Soda? <laughs> Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Clearly. Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut. William. <laughs> of course, overboss. So, I love this. In the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Operators got no tolerance for dead weight. Those I mean, I do them. like making money. So... Bags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. But they sure as hell were born for it. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. You know what? Thanks for the advice. That's pretty interesting. Mags and William normally have me frisk visitors. But you get okay. special treatment. 
You know what, Operator Waster? I appreciate you not touching me, but you're still fucking creepy. The last group... We all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Okay. Back disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. Look at them talking shit about each other. All right, so the last group here, I assume, is over here. The pack. I I gotta see this shit. Let me see. Wow. Um, party animals and Welcome clowns. Nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Wonder no more. What the fuck? The hell is this? This was this reminds me of a fucking Kesha concert. If it's a lot more bloodier and fucked up type of Kesha concert. What the hell? Dog cage fights? Come on. And this pussy's watching? You can take Alright. No. I'll walk right up. Zach. Most can handle their own shit. You need help finding your place here? No? No! I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can't. It ain't easy keeping a zoo. We all do all so that. you must be the leader. I'm gonna get a closer look at you. I'm not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Oh, Whatever. God. Don't matter. Name's Mason. The Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss. For now. But I'm the boss of the pack. And it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. The pack? Fitting. You smell like animals. Ah, never heard that one before. Look, it ain't like anyone broke up about Colton. Just figured on his replacement being, well... Different. Ha, says that's funny boss, coming from so you, buddy. You're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss. If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. You turn out to be a third. At least it ain't Mags Black. That freak Misha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. So what is it you want? Caps, action, something. Anything that's more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last year. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cats we signed up for. Okay, ain't none okay. Of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip of bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together. Promised he'd find something to deal with cold. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Cold? Yeah, hey, give me the tea. You know what I've heard. Give me the team, man. Is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Oh, Everyone shit. The point of the gauntlet all along. I trust we're done with the history lesson. Yeah, boss. Just trying to fill you in on why we're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Yeah, so what? What's the pack got over the other gangs? The pack are the meanest sons of bitches you'll ever meet. We do whatever it takes, and we're fiercely loyal. The operators will cut your throat as soon as they get what they want out of you. And the disciples. Who the fuck knows what those crazy bitches want? There's something wrong with them. You can't trust someone who ain't willing to show you their face. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. 
Not what? Not guys, all right? Oh, you too much? Mm. With that a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. What's There's up? work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Why are you wearing? Okay. Um, I'm gonna get out of here now. Ew, I'm getting out. A gorilla? Yo, this is crazy. So, now that I've met all three gangs, what do I think of them? Well... I fucking hate all of them. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.